key to being a really good Instacart shopper is shopping fast. If you shop slow, you might make $12, $14 an hour. If you shop fast, you can make $25, $30 an hour on a regular basis. I've been working for Instacart on and off for four years. At one point, I was even a shift lead for them. I've been an in-store shopper. I've been a full service shopper. I've done thousands of orders. I've trained people doing thousands of more. And I really know the tips and tricks that they're not really telling you. There's a few things that you need to know. Uh, number one is the time that tells you it's due is not actually the time the customer sees. The time that it shows up on your app has a lot to do with your own personal metrics. This means don't worry about the due time. Just focus on getting the order done and doing a good job. That's all you can do. There's no need to add additional worry to it. Tip number two is always come prepared. Um, I have this giant cooler bag and then this smaller but yet giant Ikea bag. Uh, each one of these will fit three large paper bags uh, that I could then carry quite a bit at once. I'll place links to the bags below. I highly suggest that you don't skimp on quality. I had a lower quality bag that was half the price of this cooler bag. It lasted me two weeks before it broke. This one that I've been using now has lasted several months and shows no sign of wear. Instacart try, will try to sell you uh, cooler bags. Don't buy from them. They're just not very good. Um, and they're also, it can only fit one bag at a time. Tip number three, when you're picking up the delivery only ones, grab as many carts as you need. Uh, so I'm gonna grab two carts since there's nine bags. Sweet, all ready to go. Tip number four, part close to the cart thing. It makes it a lot easier. Tip number five, drive a small car. It's so much better for city parking. Woo. All right, small car always wins in the city. And if you don't have a small car, have patience because it's not gonna help you or anybody else if you get angry because you can't find parking. Tip number six is what happens if the person's not home? They can't dictate what your actions are. It asks you to wait for 10 minutes and because how much you earn depends on how fast you go. I recommend you never wait. So what I do is I'll drop off the bags at the person's door and then I'll take a picture in the Instacart app through the messaging system. I'll send them the picture to verify the location and then I drop it off. And this is also kind of proof for headquarters if there's any kind of dispute. And then I'll let the customer know that their bags are at their front door. The reason why I just do this right away rather than wait 10 minutes is because I want to get to the next order. Uh, if you wait 10 minutes, most likely customer service will ask you to do what I just told you to do. Uh, so don't waste your time, just go ahead and do that from the start. All right, tip number seven. Driving in the city, always carry dimes and nickels. You don't want to waste quarters on these meters and you don't want to get a ticket. So you can either put your credit card in and pay a full dollar or you can just use a dime and get six minutes. That's all you really need. Sure. Tip number eight, don't get caught by these guys. You gotta go slow. This is a school zone, you don't want to get pulled over. Another tip with parking, especially in the city, um, so I try to pay attention to who has jurisdiction. If the, if the jurisdiction is such that I can't get a ticket, or that uh, the tow truck can't show up in time, I'll go ahead and park there real quick. The next tip is, uh, so these Instacart cards that they send you in the mail, they cannot take action against you for not wearing these. So I never do. As soon as I got this, I threw it out. Today I have Lene helping me film. Well, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to make some extra money and I wanted to learn about Instacart. I signed up, the process to sign up was really easy, but Getting started felt a bit daunting, so I called my friend Alex and asked if I could chat to him for the day and get all of his tips for free. <laughs> so tip number 11, don't start shopping right away. It's best to scan the whole order and get acquainted. I see I have produce, bakery, um, some items have aisle numbers. Got some baby wipes. Uh, which I'm gonna remember just in case uh, I probably won't ring the doorbell on this one. Uh, Burt's Bees, so got some personal care. Uh, what's important while you're shopping is that you're always scrolling up and down constantly. 
it's a lot easier to go slower while you shop and not backtrack than it is to continuously backtrack. So just go slower, smoother. Right, so we need organic baby carrots and organic English cucumbers. So I'm scanning up and down to make sure there's nothing else in the produce. So that should be it. There could be a juice. Is that over there? Yes, it is. So part of that constantly looking up and down, I saw this apple cider. So this one doesn't scan, but it's organic blueberries. I'm just gonna force mark it as found. Take a photo. Don't pay attention to the photos too much. No one sees them. So just take a quick photo. Even if it's not of the product, it doesn't matter. Just do what's quick. And then on these, always check the dates. You wanna make sure that they're not gonna go out of date soon. The date's usually right up in there. Supposedly you're supposed to bag everything, um, which is interesting because a lot of customers don't want bags, produce bags. I get them if it's more efficient. If it's not more efficient, I don't get the produce bags. It's just a way to save the environment and save your time. So there's no one gallon, so I'm gonna say it's out of stock. I'm gonna replace it with a half gallon. Um, a trick on making the replacements is make it quick. You don't spend too much time overthinking it. You could waste like five, ten minutes think, overthinking your replacements. Just don't, like, just make a decision and stick with it. We need, so we need three of them, so I'm gonna look for all of them at the same time. No need to go one by one here, a little barley. One. Damn. Chunky tomato. Needs two of those. Just as much as what's on the shelf, it was important what's not on the shelf. So right away, I couldn't see this item. So what I did is, I didn't see it with the, where I would expect it, but I noticed a hole. So I double checked on the code to make sure that that was what it was. So that's what I need right there. I can tell it's out of stock. I look above it, make sure there's no uh, additional stock. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that replacement. You want to stop the timer as quickly as possible. So it's having me go through checkout. Rather than keep this open, I'm gonna go ahead and take these screenshots. And then just kind of power through this process to end the timer as soon as possible. Here's where uh, these screenshots come into play. Welcome value customer, thank you. Walking faster makes you faster. It's super simple, just like, just go faster. Um, but also, don't crash into people. Like, peer around corners. Don't go ripping around blind corners. Take your time, like, slow down at those points. But if you got a straightaway down an aisle and no one's in it, go ahead, go as fast as you want. So about to go through checkout, we'll have them scan the barcodes to start, and then I'll swipe the card right away as well. I'll get that, the, the payment done, uh, and then I'll just start bagging. Um, when the order is done, I won't have to pay it then, which helps speed things up, because then I can finish up what I'm doing bagging. All right, you guys have a very good day. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Appreciate it. I have an order from Sprouts. It says it's 25 minutes away um, of a drive to get there. Okay, Google says 17 minutes, and there's traffic, I don't wanna do that. Like, I just don't wanna drive that far. Um, so what I'll do instead is I won't accept it, but I'll head in a direction where I know there's a store. Um, I'll just let it keep beeping. These beeps can be annoying, so you, like, you can always turn it down. Next tip, bring snacks. Uh, low blood sugar will make you unhappy and you don't want to give yourself any more reason to be unhappy. All right, next tip. When you're delivering in the city at the high office buildings, make sure to bring a cart. This one I got on Amazon, I think it was like $45. It's been great. Today's average speed was 44. This also includes the filming and stopping to talk and all the extra stuff that we did today. But we were still able to hit good numbers. I believe that anybody can do well shopping. They walk fast. They try to pick things off the shelf without stopping if they can. Like always looking forward, trying to, if there's a four items to grab, grab them all at once. Um, 
when I grab yogurts, I usually grab two at a time. Small things like that make a big difference and they really add up. This list is nowhere near being complete. There are literally hundreds of things you can do to help improve your shopping speed. If you have more tips, please, please, please share them in the comment section below. Uh, I would like to get all the tips out to there to help all the Instacart shoppers across America. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. If this is your first time to this channel, please check out my other videos. I'm sure there's plenty of videos there that you'll like. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.